Hey everyone, so this is part two of whatever I'm calling this video because I honestly don't know yet, but I left off telling you guys about my recent experiences and kind of me finding God, so if that's not something you're into, if you're not religious or spiritual or whatever, like I... I don't judge. I completely understand. Um, just catch me on my next video, but this is one that I feel very strongly about and I want to share and have already shared part one, so this hair though. We'll pretend. We'll pretend it's fine. I ain't washed it today. Okay. When I left off in part one, I was talking about how everything led up to today and how today kind of just, for me, confirmed that all these things that have been happening, all these signs, all these feelings, that they're, that it's real, and there's a reason for it, and I'm not crazy, <laughs> so if you're interested, please keep watching, if you didn't see part one, and you'd like to, I will link that below, I'm also going to, um, excuse me, I'll also link Christina Randall's video that I refer to quite often. I'll link that as well. I'll also link the Amazon link if you want one of these necklaces. Um, Alright. So I left off talking about how today was the day that I got this necklace. How it meant so much to me. How it made me feel very emotional. I, I cried. Um... I guess we'll, we'll start at the beginning of the day. We'll start in the morning, where most days start, right? I hope I don't wake my daughter up. She is. She's right there asleep. I'm sure I'm, not, I'm sure she's fine. So, I woke up. I took my daughter to school. I came home. Now, normally, I've, I've been doing a lot of walking lately. Now, I had gotten into exercising more and jogging, but since I have been sick, it's very limited to walking, and the distance that I can walk is pretty slim. Um, but I still try. So on the days that I've felt a little better, or felt capable, or had the energy, that's what I do. And typically, I go walking in the morning. We have a, a lake, like, right down the road, and I usually go down to the boat landing, just kind of walk down there, chill for a little bit, walk back. And if you go, like if you go this way, there's the boat landing, which is a shorter walk, which I've been taking because I've been sick. But if you go down a little ways, there's the dam, and you can overlook, you know, the lake. And then right beside that, there's the canal trail that takes you on a path right next to the river. So I love walking the canal trail. Absolutely love it. But like I said, I've not been going that way because it's a little bit longer. And also, a lot of my friends and family have pointed out that it's probably not safe to be in the middle of the woods alone. So, I haven't really been hitting up the canal trail as much lately. That'll come into play later. So, for whatever reason, I get home and I'm like, I should go for my walk. But I kept talking myself out of it. I kept coming up with the reasons and excuses. Like, not right now. Maybe later. Maybe tomorrow. Like, it'll be okay if I miss today, you know. Even though I was feeling better and I was feeling motivated and I wanted to go. I just kind of kept talking myself out of it. <laughs> but now looking back on how today went, it makes sense. So a lot of what I'm going to tell you. And it's, it's all very small things. And I, I think I touched on this in the first video, you know. If you're listening to this and you're like, all of this is stupid, it's coincidence, or it can all be explained, like, I, I know I get that. I've, I'm usually that person to look at things that way, but all I can say is, like, I just feel it. Like, I just feel it in my heart, and I know. So, everything that happened today made me feel something. It made, like, things just fell into place. And today it ended up being such a life-changing and wonderful, wonderful day. And that's, that's, again, why I wanted to share this 
with you guys is, you know, one, maybe it'll help someone, two, because I did want to make a video telling Christina, if she sees it, what a huge impact her video has had on my life, and I can't, I cannot stress that enough, you know, it may, I don't know, maybe she's told her story a million times and maybe it's helped a million people I don't know all I can say is that that one video that one one time that she sat down and shared her experience all these years later changed my life and all of this is crazy so I get it if you you don't get it I get it if you don't believe it or it doesn't make sense I, I, I understand the only thing I can ask of you, well, A, is to be respectful in the comments if you don't mind. And uh, B, if a few years from now you feel yourself, for whatever reason, wanting to learn or wanting to understand or whatever, come back and watch this video. Maybe it'll help. I don't know. But Christina's video, it helped me. In, in ways that, like I said, I, I can't explain. It doesn't all make sense. And a lot of what I'm about to tell you is, is just, to, it's just my day. It's just what happened today. And it may not seem like much, but to me, it was like having this giant puzzle and every piece just clicking into place all, all at one time, all in one day, and in the best way that it possibly could. Um, I'm going to pause for just a second and then I'll, I'll finish telling you. Okay, so setup change. Um, we are currently in my lovely bathroom because I was still kind of afraid I was going to wake my daughter up. So we're going to try to do this here. We'll see. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm still very, very congested. I get out of breath really easy. So. Like I said, I had thought about going for a walk. The weather was beautiful, but for whatever reason, I just kept coming up with reasons not to, and which is very unlike me lately. But again, I think it all makes sense in the end of the day. So I go about my day. My necklace came in. That's when I got all emotional. That's when I shared the picture of it. Whatever. So... I know I've shared little pieces of what's going on. I actually made a couple of videos not that long ago um, that were inspired by Smokey Glow and her sharing kind of the, just the tough things that she had been going through and where that led her. And I think doing those videos for myself made a huge difference as well, just um almost just unloading all of that. I think maybe now, as I'm recording this, looking back on that, I feel like maybe that was a, the first step, you know, just letting all that out and going over it and, and letting it go. And a lot of this, a lot of, I know, I'm, I feel like I'm stalling, I'm sorry. It's not that, it's just, a lot of this started when I started to work on myself and has not been easy, but it's been so worth it. So, whew, back to today. The reason I said all that, I've shared very limited amount of, like, what's been going on with me until those videos that I made. Those two videos, I kind of just laid it out there for the most part, but still trying not to share too much or trying to be respectful to people involved. But one of the things I talked about was losing my fiancé. I've talked about it a couple of times. I've mentioned it, talked about how that affected me, but we have, we've not been in contact. So we reached a point where we had tried to be in each other's life. We tried to be there for each other and just, it just didn't work. Um, matter of fact, he was the, he was the one who told me we needed to take time apart. We needed to get our shit together and <laughs> work on ourselves. And it took me a while to be okay with that. I was not okay with that. I was like, no, <laughs> we, 
Like, let me just be honest. I was like, no, you, you're the one for me. I, I love you with all my heart. And I've never doubted that. And I never will. And like, I, I can't, I cannot let you go. And eventually I did. I had to. And that was when I was finally able to do what I needed to do for myself. And that's when I started realizing a lot of things about that it's okay to be selfish and work on yourself. And that sometimes things won't get better until you do. I actually spent a lot of time talking about that today because I, last night, I had heard from my ex for the first time in quite some time. And we just talked. We just talked about regular things that were going on. What's what's up with you? Where you been? How things going? This has happened. This has happened. Whatever. No, completely not expected. Did not expect to hear from him at all today. Out of nowhere, I ended up talking to him. And it's just a normal conversation. And he asked me what I was going to do. You know, what I was going to be up to. And I just decided that the weather was too nice. My daughter was going to a friend's house for a couple hours. I had the time. And I'm like, I'm going for a walk. So, I tell him what I'm planning on doing. And he's like, oh, well, want some company? And I think what makes this the most meaningful is that it was so unexpected and so unplanned and we hadn't talked, we hadn't had anything to do with each other for a while because we, we needed that time apart. We needed to grow separately as individuals before we could even have a, a normal conversation with each other. So I'm like, sure, sounds good to me, right? So my daughter comes home, she leaves, I get my stuff together, I'm Took off walking, you know. We meet up. And, oh, I got hair coming out everywhere. We start walking. Intention is to go to the boat landing. That's where I always go, like I said. I don't normally go to the canal trail because I just don't. But for whatever reason, we go towards the canal trail. And as we get up, to the canal trail. There's this whole group of people. And I'm like, good God. <laughs> there's never that many people there. So they're like, they're all wearing similar shirts, which I didn't really pay attention to. They're all like stretching and they got water bottles and they look like they're about to hit the trail. We keep going. The talk the whole way there to this, that we, we ended up, um, I don't know if it's like a mile down the path. It might be a mile and a half. I don't know. But there's like this overlook. And it's actually at the witch's den. That's what we used to call it growing up. This is just an overlook. A place where you can kind of sit. And you see the creek. And you see the old locks. Really, really great place to be. On the way there, the, the conversation is, is good. It's just us talking. Which is something that seems so small, but we've been so unable to do for so long. So, we get down there. And now, when I say I used to be the most judgmental person when it came to religious people, I mean it, <laughs> too. I used to be like, oh, there's God people, and why are they trying to show God down my throat? So, when it comes to me feeling the way I've been feeling experiencing the things that I've experienced. Not once did I ever think I would share any of that with anybody. Like, I wasn't, wasn't going to go around and talk about it. Well, like I said, getting my necklace today, wanting to take a picture of it, wanting to share it with people, it, my mind and my heart and my, everything just changed. The way I thought about it changed. So if there was one person in the world that I wanted to share that with, other than my daughter, it was him. I, I care about him. I love him. I always have. So I, start, I started telling him. I showed him my necklace. Showed him my bracelet. I talked about how I've worked on myself. And how these things have happened to me that I can't explain. And I can't 
I just can't. And what was crazy is the few people I've mentioned the whole mustard seed thing to, nobody knew what I was talking about. He knew. And that we have to tell him. So that's, that's kind of cool. But we sit there and we talk and we talk and we talk. And I share a lot of what I've been what I've been going through. And he shares a lot with me. And we talk just about life in general. And about where we've been. Where we were when our relationship fell apart. Who we were in that time period. Which neither of us look back on that as a good thing. Like without because I, I don't want him to, to see this and feel like I'm oversharing so without oversharing when we got together we had a history we had a past years of caring for each other but never being together and then we were finally together in the first few months of our relationship and I know this sounds like typical like things were good and then they went bad but it really was so different like we in the first few months were we were different people and we were so in love and we were so sure that God brought us together and that we were meant to be together. But things changed, things happened, and I'm not going to get into everything that went wrong and what happened, but we both changed as people. I didn't like who I was. He didn't like who he was. We didn't like each other. It, we couldn't be around each other. That's how bad things were. So as I'm sitting there and we're talking, and let me just tell you that it was almost like a, a scene from a movie. It was so perfect. The weather was beautiful. Being in nature and the sun shining perfectly, and we see these deer go by, which was crazy because there was so much noise and stuff out there. Like, I but they weren't running, they weren't freaking out, it was just, they just went by, and like, all of a sudden, I couldn't help but to feel that everything I have experienced leading up to today, and everything in that moment was meant to happen, it wasn't planned, I didn't try to get him to come with me, it's not like he planned on talking to me last night or today, it just, it just happened, as if it were meant to. And I won't share everything we talked about or how everything went. Just... Oh, my house is making noise. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but just there was, there was a moment where everything felt like it was exactly how it was supposed to be. The... The place that we were in and the moment that we were in was breathtaking. And in that moment, I couldn't help but to think, like, how lucky am I to be here right now? I could have stayed at home and been in bed or watching TV, and that would suck. I could be off fucking up with my friends and be in the same position they are, but I'm not. I'm here in this beautiful weather, beautiful nature, talking to someone who I used to have a beautiful relationship with and a bond that I don't, I thought I lost it. I thought I lost him forever. I thought I lost myself forever. And I don't know, let me say this real quick. I'm not saying all this to say like, oh, now we're back together and everything's happy and I have all these expectations. Nothing like that. Like there's no expectations. I didn't even talk about whether we'd really see each other again. I mean, we mentioned it, but it was just, it, everything was all about that moment. And I was so grateful for everything. I was so grateful for the changes in my life, for how my heart has changed and I have changed. I was so grateful to see him in a better place than where he was. And you could feel that between us that we, we were both so happy to see each other being okay, being ourselves. And it was, it was just a beautiful, beautiful experience. And the whole walk back 
was amazing. It really was. And it was just as simple as seeing each other doing good and, and feeling these things and having myself and my heart be sorry, I'm trying not to get emotional. But having myself and my heart be changed and, and be better. And, I, and talking to him helped me realize a lot of, you know, just sharing my story with him and, and my experiences recently, saying them out loud. It made a lot of things click in my, in my mind, like, wow, things really are different. This really is something, you know, it's, it's not a, like a string of coincidences. This is, this is meaningful. This matters. And having that moment with him, it, it solidified everything I felt. And again, I won't stress, especially because I'm probably going to share these videos with him. I want to stress that this isn't about being in a relationship or fixing what we had or anything like that. It's, it's literally nothing about that. It was just about being ourselves again and the, the feeling that it was right and that we weren't wrong in what we believed before, that we do love each other. I don't know what that looks like in the future. I don't know. But just having that bond, seeing the changes that we both made, and feeling like today, in that very moment, that's where we were meant to be. So like I said, the walk back is beautiful. We get almost back to the end of the trail where you get back on the road and on our way home. And some of those people, like, they're running by us. Now, I've not paid attention to hardly any of them like as far as like what they're wearing or whatever like I said I seen it on the way down there and throughout that they were all wearing similar shirts or the same shirts we get almost to the end and I read the back of the guy's shirt and I shit you not like this is gonna sound crazy but because it was it was some type of church shirt they were like a church group and I didn't realize this going down there. I didn't realize it with like the 16 people that passed us while we we're on the path. I see this one guy's shirt and I read it and it says, you know, whatever it says on it, but in bold letters it says, but God. At this point, you know, we've just had this amazing experience between the two of us. I had this emotional experience today already when I got this necklace. I shared my story and my changes and my feelings and my thoughts and everything. And as we're walking out, there it is. But God. How crazy is that? And, and I, of course, was like, did you see that? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> so it was, it was incredible. It's, you know, you can't. I don't know how many have seen, how many of you have watched uh, Bruce Almighty. Hopefully many of you because it's an amazing movie. But. Where he's driving and he's like, God, just give me a sign. And there's like this whole truck full of signs. Like that was my sign moment. <laughs> like as if God was saying, if I can't make it any clearer to you right now, here you go. Sorry. It's hard not to get emotional because it feels, it feels so incredible. And it's such a blessing. And that moment, and today, all, of, all the moments, all the things mean so much, but it was just like, why, why me? You know, I used to ask myself in that, like, oh, my phone's dying. In that sadness and that depression and that self-loathing and pity and bullcrap. You know, why me? Why is, why is this my life? Why do I have to go through all this? But in that moment, it was like, why me? I, I don't deserve this. God, like, what are you doing? Like, I, not me. I was a terrible person for a while, you know? Like, I didn't feel worthy. <laughs> but for whatever reason, this is just what's happening. And like I said, I just want to share this with you guys because no matter what you think of it right now, like, for real, this is what's going on. And I don't know how to explain things. I don't know how. The, the only thing I can say is it has to be God. 
and I never thought I'd be a person here talking to you guys or talking to anybody about God. That's not me. Me talking to my ex fiance in the woods today about God and religion and all these signs and that's not me. It never had been. It is now, but it's just incredible how much something so small can change so much and how you can you feel different your eyes are open your mind is open your heart is open and it changes you I am not the person that I was and it's crazy because for a long time my ex would tell me you know I wish you could be the person you were and today while we were talking he's like this is this is you this is Nicole that I fell in love with and even then I, I was like you know, and, and it, meant, it meant the world to me. If you're watching, you know it meant the world to me. But even then I was like, you know, yes, I'm a lot, like I'm, I'm back to who I used to be in a lot of ways, but it's even more than that. I'm a better person than I was even then. My mind, my heart is so much more open I feel better. My outlook is better. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But it's incredible. And I'm so happy with who I am. And as hard as it was to go through the things that we went through, I, I feel like it had to happen. Because I would have never felt as bad as I did. And I would have never... I guess hit rock bottom in that way to have to work on myself to to get fed up with being okay with being depressed and stressed and anxious to reach a point where I wanted to change where my mind was open to change now that doesn't mean that I had any intentions on it because I didn't I had I had no idea this was possible for me no idea so I wasn't like searching for God. I wasn't searching for that to change. But I knew that I had to do something within myself because what I was doing was not working. And I explained it to him this way and I'll explain it to you and then I'll move on with the rest of my story because I know I've taken forever. The best way I know how to explain it is before when I was stressed all the time and anxious and depressed and, you know, why me? Why is this my life? This is, this is just my life, accepting that that's what it was. It's like being in a pit of quicksand and the more you you struggle because you, you're not you're not doing what you really need to do to to change and to get out of it it just feels like you keep getting sucked down and, and you beat down and you you keep mentally you're like no matter how hard I try I just can't get out of here but you can and once you feel this like what I have been experiencing what I have been feeling best way I know how to describe that feeling is, is standing on top of a mountain and taking a deep breath feeling free or jumping into the middle of a lake and swimming and feeling like nothing can stop you or standing in the middle of the woods and there's no one around for miles and just feeling I just, I, don't, I guess, just free. Like you can breathe. Going from feeling like you're drowning in quicksand and you'll never make it out to being on top of a mountain and, and just breathing. It's, that's the, the difference that my life, what's happened to me, that's the difference that it's made. So to, to get to the rest of my story, because I know I'll talk your ear off. We go our separate ways. As I'm walking home, I'm listening to music. I'm feeling great. Like, I, again, the weather's incredible. I'm also, like, secretly, like, please don't, don't let the sun go down yet because, like, I don't want to be walking in the dark by myself. I don't. I go a lot of places by myself. I used not to mind it. Now I'm kind of cautious. So I'm like, please don't let the sun go down. I'm listening to music. And many of you who watch my channel know, but if you've never seen my channel, I was married for 10 years to my child's father and he passed away a few years ago matter of fact September 21st was the day he passed away so just 
gotten past that. I try not to think about that. But on the way home, that song, See You Again, starts playing. Now, I miss my husband every day of my life. I cry. Sad tears, missing him, pain all the time. This song came on, and like I said, I was in, I was in an incredible mood. Things were just feeling right. The weather was perfect. And I start to cry. But it's not a, a sad and hurt cry anymore. It was just a, a cry. And for the first time since he's been gone, I swear it felt like he was there. That's the only time I've ever felt that. I've looked for that. I have chased after that this whole time. And I've never felt close to him. Not since he's been gone. But it felt like in that moment I could feel him in my heart. That he was there. That he was watching. And that it was okay. And of course I look like a crazy person. I'm like sweating my ass off. Walking trying to get it because I don't want the sun to go down and I'm bawling but it was like it was another moment of just freeing myself from all of those emotions that I've avoided and held in and held back all that hurt and that pain and I'm not saying that I'm never going to miss him again I'm never going to hurt and feel that again but it was just it was different so the song goes off more songs play I'm right near my house and like I said, the whole time I'm like, please don't let the sun go down. Because it's a, it's that time. Like, it is, it should be dark. And I see my front porch and I'm like, man, I made it. Sun ain't gone down. Thank you. And literally, like, five seconds after being at my house, it's dark. So, that was another cool thing that happened. <laughs> so, right before I got home, I saw my roommate pass me. Now... Many of you know, I smoke cigarettes. I'm hoping to quit, fingers crossed. But I haven't quit yet. So I've been hours without a cigarette. Well, not hours, but it, I've been a bit without a cigarette. Anyway, it was about that time. So I text my roommate, and I'm like, were you leaving to go to work? Because, like, I kind of need money for cigarettes. And he's like, oh, I'll go get change. So I, I go to our change bucket. I'm counting. Of course, it's not enough. I go to look in my wallet. To, you know, maybe I have a dollar left. Twenty-some dollars in my wallet. Now, at the time, I made a joke with myself, like, I don't know if this is a sign from God or if I'm losing my noggin, because I can't remember when I have money. Oh, the card thing, though, I wasn't supposed to have that money. This money, I do remember having, I just forgot. So I'm like, all right. By the way, I have no car. My car's broke down. <laughs> I will have it fixed soon. I think I said that in the first video. Anyway, so now I got to walk in the dark to the store, but it's right down the road. It's not so bad. And I'm like, eh, it's okay. But my daughter's supposed to be coming home, so getting it in the dark to the store. And and this part is going to sound really stupid, but I, I figure if I told you about my day, I may, I may as well tell you to the end, right? Get to the store. I'm only there to get cigarettes. 